Hello there, brothers and sisters. Um, just a really quick little video here. A video. Quick little video. 1 Corinthians 15. Um, 1 through 4. <sighs> Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand. By which also ye are saved. If ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. For I delivered unto you first of all that which also I received, how that Christ died for our sins in accord, according to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures, and then just keep going, and that he was seen of Cephas, then of the twelve, after that, he was seen of about 500 brethren at once, of whom the greater part remain unto this present, but some are fallen asleep or have died. After that, he was seen of James, then of all the apostles, and last of all, he was seen of me also, as of one born out of due time, for I am the least of the apostles, that I am not fit to be called an apostle because I persecuted the church of God but by the grace of God I am what I am and his grace which was bestowed upon me was not in vain but I labored more abundantly than they all yet not I but the grace of God which was with me <clears throat> in vain But I, but how's that quote? But which was bestowed upon me, his grace, which was bestowed upon me, and was not in vain. You see, because it says, by which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. First Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, unless ye have believed in vain. All right. I was on a different verse when I saw um, that saying. Uh, Philippians 2.16 Holding fast the word of life, that I may rejoice in the day of Christ, that I have not run in vain or labored in vain. Right? So... And you go to the interlinear and look up the word or words in vain. Actually, it's in is s ice or whatever, and then vain is kinos or kinos or something like that. And it's outline of biblical usage number one a b c b having two answers d having one sub answer but it is number one biblical use empty vain devoid of truth an empty belief a vain belief void of truth true belief probably right of places vessels etc which contain nothing vain of men empty-handed without a gift metaphorically destitute of spiritual wealth of one who boasts of his faith as a transcendent possession yet is without the fruits of faith that's the one right of endeavors, labors, acts, which result in nothing, vain, fruitless, without effect, vain, of no purpose. Metaphorically speaking, though, right? Destitute, destitute of spiritual wealth, having no spiritual wealth, of one who boasts of his faith, oh yeah, I believe, as a transcendent possession, 
we should look at the word transcendent, yet is without the fruits of faith. There's no fruits. Oh, fruit inspector Kev. <laughs> Words. Just saying, guys. Um, <clears throat> don't believe in vain. You want to hear how I'm saying it? Don't believe in vain. I've personally ran into these people that this verse is talking about that um, profess with their lips that they're saved and they can say the right words there's no fruit none and or bad fruit where are we at six minutes you could almost throw Ravi in that bunch right almost wish I wouldn't have said that because that's the extreme end of it but uh, if people say something does that mean they are living a godly life a saved life are they living that life or they're just saying stuff using their salvation as a possession to get them wherever whatever because those people are out there it's just the truth in small degrees and in large degrees so be careful be careful um, everything test all spirits the Bible tells us to test all spirits don't take nothing for granted in this world um, <clears throat> trust the Lord make sure it, it's scripturally sound and you know what they do and say not just sounds scriptural but it flows with the basics of scripture like how the story works and how things work in the Bible if it goes completely against that, then maybe they're just using fancy scriptural words to try to mess with your brain, right? Because that happens. So anyway, guys, I'm going to just end it here and keep it short and sweet and tell you that I love you and hope that that helps because I see so much confusion out there with, well, I don't know if it's confusion, deception I see a lot of deception out there and it almost seems like the Lord is just lifting the veil or shaking the sifter I don't know separation of the wheat and the tares not sure but um, things are becoming fairly obvious out there on the fact that publicly even all the big minister guys are being caught out and the truth is being revealed and the truth will prevail so all right gonna shut her down tell you guys i love you and look at that just about beat nine minutes but not quite have a great day